through many spiritual fathers that God has given us examples throughout the scriptures that are blessed to us. Amen? amen. And I'm going to give a few examples, amen, the full pointers as to how they overcome and they were victorious. So I say amen? amen? Many times fathers go through a lot. Uh -huh. amen? amen? And a lot of times uh, some make it, some are good examples, amen, and some are not. Amen. So I say amen? amen. Uh, one thing I did in my life as I was joined the military and I did 24 years in the military, as I was coming up in life, I did one thing. I made myself a, 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 a promise that I'm going to learn from everybody who's over me. Somebody say amen. amen. I'm going to take the good and I'm going to keep that. But the bad, I made a promise that I would never do that once I got in that spot to influence people, to be an example for people. Somebody say amen. amen. I promised myself I would never use, I mean, I would learn from even the bad things that people do in my life. So I say amen. amen. It was a blessing to me. I made myself a promise. When I got in a leadership position, I would do those things. And the good stuff I saw, I said, well, I can do those. Amen? amen. So in the word of God, we find in Romans 15 and 4, it says that for everything that was written in the past was written to teach us uh -huh. so that through endurance in the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. Did y'all get that? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, to guide us, Amen. to give us understanding. So that through endurance, in the encouragement of the scriptures, we will have hope. It's a sad thing when you lose hope. Amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. When you just give up. And a lot of times when you're dealing with people or you talk to people, whether young or old, a lot of people, Mr. Hensley, have simply given up. They have no more drive. They have no more future. And so a lot of them just say stuff like, I'm just living for what? Today. Yes. Whatever I can get right now, somebody say amen. And that's the mindset of many young people. Whatever I can get right now, today. I don't care about tomorrow. Just let me be satisfied today. Somebody say amen. amen. But we are in the church, and those that are in the church, amen, we find out the word of God, amen, everything that God wrote to us, amen, what I'm going to share with you in a few minutes about those in the past in the scripture, amen, it was written to encourage you through the word of God that you might have hope. Yes. Amen. One thing I don't want to do is give up. Come on, you get to the point where you give up, Sister Taylor, you're done. Somebody say amen. amen. You are done. All right, let's look at the first one here, amen, we're going to talk about here. Amen. Uh, in the book of James, uh, the word of God says, Dear brothers and sisters, when trouble, amen, come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Uh -huh. amen? amen. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Uh -huh. Somebody say amen. amen. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be strong in character and ready for anything. Somebody say amen. amen. A lot of times when, when, as men, when we face trouble, amen, sometimes, praise God, we give up and we get discouraged. But the Bible says when you look at trouble, amen, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For when you face with trouble, amen, you change how you look at it. You change your attitude. Somebody say amen. amen. You will see this an opportunity to be victorious in that situation, and it will give you great joy. Amen. Come on, give God a hand and pray for that. Amen. 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 So sometimes, praise God, as fathers, sometimes as fathers, uh, uh, many of you fathers now, sometimes you had impossible tasks. Uh -huh. Do I have any witness in here? Yeah. And Father, sometimes you have to get through some impossible tasks. In the Word of God, we see that uh, Hebrews 11 and 7 says that it was by faith that Noah built an ark to save his family from the flood. Yeah. And you got to understand, praise God, Noah only had his family in the dark many years. Somebody say amen. And never, another boat had never been built amen, before in his lifetime. Somebody say amen. amen. And sometimes, praise God, fathers, you have impossible tasks. Yes. Yeah. It's not only for fathers, but for mothers too. Especially you single mothers. Uh -huh. Somebody say amen. amen. Because sometimes single mothers, you got to fulfill both roles. Amen. Do I have any witnesses in the house today? Amen. 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 Praise God. And sometimes your task can be almost impossible. Uh -huh. Somebody say amen. amen. 
what, praise God, he obeyed God who warned him about something that had never happened before. Amen. One thing about God, amen, God will always give you a warning. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. God will always let you know, praise God, I am with you. I will never forsake you. God has given you warning through his word. God said, I am a friend. I will never leave, leave you. Somebody say amen. amen. God said, I will give you the Holy Ghost, and therefore you will have power to endure. Somebody say amen. God said, I did not give you the spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind. Come on, y'all, get with me here. Praise God, God let you know, praise God, through his word, that no matter what you got to face, I will never The Bible says, with God, what all things are what? Possible. And without faith, you cannot please God. So no matter what you have to face, it might seem impossible. But believe and trust God, and God will make it possible. Amen. Amen. Am I talking to anybody in here? Amen. Amen. How many of you face some impossible stuff right now? Amen. You don't know where the money coming from? Amen. You don't know if you're going to be healed or delivered. So I say amen. amen. You don't know why you're about the medicine. You matter of fact, amen, Obamacare for some people, amen, you don't know how you want to see the doctor. Uh -huh. So I say amen. 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 So the real was sharing one time, pray God, she know how she's going to do, but then not God make a way. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. We have testimony and testimony here at Prayer Gospel. How God has made a way when you didn't know how it's going to be done. Amen. Somehow. Somehow. So I say amen up in here. Amen. Somehow, God made a way. If you look at Noah, praise God, it says that something for something that had never happened before. Amen. God will bless you, praise God, for something that you have never gone through in your life before. How many of you have ever had a situation that, that rose up and you never gone through it before? Amen. I heard your testimony, praise God. Have you ever gone through that something that you went through before? Come on, somebody. Amen. Hey, sometimes those tasks, those situations seem impossible, but God has brought you out. God brought you through. Somebody say amen. amen. God made a way for you. Somebody say amen. amen. And the sin and the test were more than you can endure, but somehow, God. But God. Let's move on here, right? Amen. Because we find out, amen, praise God, that, amen, that faith is believing when I don't see it. Somebody say amen. amen. Faith is believing even though I don't see it. Sometimes you got to believe God when you don't see no way out. Amen. Sometimes you got to believe God when you got nobody helping you at all. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Hebrews 11, 1, amen, it, it, it comes, the New International Version says, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we don't, do not see. Uh -huh. Can I read that again? Yes. Amen. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. Uh -huh. Amen. I don't have it yet, but I'm sure that God's going to bring it to pass. Uh -huh. We don't have our new front yet, but I'm sure God's going to bring it to pass. Yeah. I know we're talking about it, and we can see it in the vision. Come on, somebody. Amen. But I'm sure that God has going to bring it to pass. Why are you sure, Apostle? Because God has blessed us in the past. Amen. So I say amen. amen. I didn't know how I was going to have the building here, praise God, that we're in today. But I was sure when I went to the courtroom that God was going to make a way somehow. Come on, somebody. I wasn't sure 